Welcome, welcome, welcome to the episode of Chat Sports Talk. He's my name, Chat. Take a dive on sports. And welcome to my NBA playoff preview video. I know I really covered uh, the NBA at all in this channel, really, except for when I did the 75th anniversary after it's already been announced and everyone was already digested it and then I decided to throw in my two cents at the All-Star break. <laughs> um, but I figure i hop into this uh, uh, playoff format uh, since the last two playoff games are tonight. Determine the eight seed, so you got the you know the Atlanta taking on Cleveland, and then the Clippers. Well, now we'll be out. Paul George taking on New Orleans, and kind of see you know who is going to be you know get the Bucks repeat as champions, and how's the playoffs going to look without LeBron James in the playoffs? I'm shocked. Not um, can Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving thrive? with the Brooklyn Nets and, and ran through there. Um, can Tatum, the Celtics do, uh, dethrone him somewhere. Maybe, uh, Jimmy Butler in the heat. Yeah, they've been to the finals a couple of years ago. Out West, you still got quite a few teams. You get Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, that could be reuniting the, uh, uh the Splash Brothers and getting the Warriors back to the finals. Um, you know, uh, Luka Dockich in, in, in uh, Dallas uh, leading that charge. Utah with their their talent. I mean, there's just so much talent out there right now within the <clears throat> the NBA, and young talent with a uh, Jaw Morant out of Memphis. That's just a phenomenal player right now. And we just kind of see what's going on. But before we dive into all that, if you could go ahead and smash that thumbs up for me, give me a like, really please. You two guys, uh, just channel out. You can also subscribe. I you guys review my work and have you made scraps because you a dime it helps me provide more interior value for you. Now I'll start off with really quick with the uh <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> the playing games. I think both Atlanta and New Orleans probably come out. Um Trey Young and the and the Hawks have been a a, a thorn in a lot of uh, uh player sides in, in for the past couple of seasons and I think it's gonna be a, another uh, Thing I think they should be able to get past Cleveland. I think they should have done a lot better than they did this season. <clears throat> but it just didn't quite work out for them that way. Um, with New Orleans, I think with Paul George not being there for the Clippers, that gives the Pelicans more of a shot to get in. So I think the, the Pelicans will edge out uh, the Clippers in that aspect. Now in terms of the first round, these are some phenomenal matchups. Let's go ahead and start at the East and uh, go to Miami. Be the number one seed, taking on either Atlanta or Cleveland. And my pick would be at, uh, Atlanta. <clears throat> With it being Atlanta, I think it'll go seven games. Um, I think Atlanta is one of these pesky little teams that will just really aggravate uh, any team that will face off. And Atlanta, they know quite well from the divisional standpoint. So I would say it, it'll be a seven game series, but uh, the Heat will still be too much. Now with Toronto and Philadelphia, <clears throat> Joel Embiid has been a, a phenomenal force, almost MVP like caliber this season. And you know it it, it really looks to, like that. And getting James Harden really kind of see them, the 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 teams trying to to shift, figure who to take on. And but Harden has struggled lately. Harden has a hard time in the playoffs and. His record di dictates that. The bear wonder doesn't show up in the postseason for some reason. He's a great player. Um, one of the best all time. I know with when it comes with uh, all those the, the, the experts, I know it's kind of like most of them are going with Philadelphia in a long series, seven, seven six games. I myself see it as a seven-game series as well, but I think Toronto can upset Philadelphia. And I think Harden's going to find themselves outside looking in once again. Then Boston and Brooklyn, uh, these two my behemoths squaring off. And it's really kind of hard really to see where they're going to go. I think the Nets is just one of these teams that with KD and Kyrie, these are two phenomenal athletes right there. And Ben Simmons may or may not play in this series. And I think if he does, he's not going to be really an offensive uh, standpoint except for you know, the passing and defense. That's basically all Ben Simmons has to do. And Tatum for the Celtics is just going to be too uh, a lot to handle. And the experts are split on this one. And uh, and rightfully so. I think this one could go either way. It's definitely going to be a seven-game series. 
and I am going to go with the Nets in this one. Uh, I think just having KD on your team gives you a slight advantage. You know, no no disrespect to Tatum, but I'll give I'll give it to the to, to the uh, the Nets in this one. And then you got the Bucks and Bulls, the defending champs, taking on the Bulls. Bulls start off strong in the season and just kind of finish Mike Lesterly and. I don't see much of the uh, Bulls really uh, hampering the Bucks uh, defense at all, and I'll say the Bucks in five won't be a sweep. I think Chicago Bell sneak one out and in in, in, uh, in the windy in the windy city. So there's that one. Out west, yeah, the number one seed Suns will play host to the uh, Clipper uh, Clippers uh, Pelicans winner, which I think is going to be the Pelicans. And I think whoever they take on, I think it's going to be a six-game series anyways. And I think Phoenix is going to just slip past them quite easily. Now, with Dallas and Utah, this one is a very interesting matchup between these two. Uh, very well similar type of teams. And, and Dockage being out in game one, they have Utah a slight advantage. And with the uh, the powers that be, they have a slight edge given to the, uh, the Mavs. But it depends on how long... Uh, Luca's out. I think I'm going to go more with Utah in this one in a uh, seven-game series. Now, you know, once again, they could be pro- prove me wrong, and Dallas can just come out there and sweep them. But uh, there's just I think Utah's got a lot of talent. They just got to find uh, the right chemistry to get get them going again when in the postseason. And really, the surprise matchup that no one saw coming. The second seeded Grizzlies will take on the seven seed Timberwolves. When's the last time you said those two teams in the playoff, let alone facing off in the first round? I mean, both these franchises don't have a lot of success in the postseason, and but the the, the Grizzlies have that young talent, uh, uh, John Morant, that's just like I said, he's a phenomenal athlete right now, and I do think that. Uh, the T Temp- Wolves won't have any answers for him, and Memphis is going to find a way to slip past them in six, mind you. And I think most of the experts even said five games. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that many, but they all pretty much said Grizzlies. But I, I say Grizzlies in six. And then the Warriors and Nuggets, if, and this is the big if, I think, with, with the Warriors, if Steph Curry is able to get going, uh, play game one, and set up his rhythm, and, of course, uh, 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 Clay Thompson's able to set up his r- rhythm as well. The Warriors will be the team to watch out for at West, um, besides Phoenix. But there's a lot of ifs coming into there. But with Denver, I think they'll have enough firepower to be able to slip past the Nuggets in six. And most of the experts kind of went a six, seven game series with only uh, a couple, a handful of them in five, which is a you know, kind of a rare aspect to try to say, you know, the Warriors will take the Nuggets in five. But uh, but I will go Warriors in six, and then you look at round. Uh, you look at Miami and Toronto. Um, I will still go give it to Miami, but I will get another seven game series there. Uh, Brooklyn will take on Milwaukee. This one I battle back and forth. Which one to go with? Do I go with the defending champs or do I go with KD? Uh, this is the reason why he went out to to Brooklyn to bring the title to Brooklyn. And but I gave it, I gave a slight edge to Milwaukee just because of Giannis. Um, nothing against KD and Kyrie, but I, I'll give it to the defending champs on this one and have them take it in seven. On the other side, Phoenix, the Suns, and the Jazz, uh, Suns and seven. Then the Warriors and Grizzlies. Uh, this is where the inexperience of uh, the Grizzlies team will come to play, take on a very veteran franchise. That's done quite a bit of damage in recent history, and I go with the Warriors, knock it off the Grizz in seven. So the East Finals will have Miami taking on Milwaukee. One of them was a champion. Two of them have both been East uh, Eastern Conference Finals reps in the finals the past two seasons. But uh, the Milwaukee's uh, back-to-back championship bid will end in the East Finals with the Miami Heat taking that in seven games. Then we have the Suns taking on the Warriors. Uh, it'll be a huge matchup between these two. Um, 
But I think uh, the, the the extended playoff run that the uh, – well, I can't really say that because they're both pretty much set the same amount of games. But I think the amount of games will play more hamper against the Warriors with some injury issues. And I'll give the Suns a slight edge in seven. So I'll give you the Suns and the Heat. Two teams are, are, are were in finals the past two seasons. Both lost in the finals the past two seasons. Win these state franchises is going to win – the finals, the Heat hasn't won since LeBron left. Uh, the Suns have never won. And if the Suns and Heat do end up facing off, I'm taking the Suns in six. They'll finally uh, win a title for a franchise that's been in existence since 1966. And they'll only be their fourth final appearance. Pans out, but hey, you know things could change in the dime, uh, especially with uh, a lot of these games. You don't know who's gonna get hot at the right time, who's gonna go cold. Maybe Harden, maybe he already got his slump out of the way, and he brings his A game in the playoffs, and the Sixers go deep. Yep. Like I said, it's really hard to determine, so I'm sure I'll make another follow up for this one later once my uh, bracket gets completely busted. <laughs> Always happens, but hey, uh, just let me know down below who you think. Um, we'll. we'll uh, be the last man standing in this one? Do you think the Bucks actually repeat? Um, is it KD in the Brooklyn leading? Maybe Philadelphia. Maybe it's the Warriors finally returning back. Just let me know down below. Where you're there, you can hit that thumbs up for me once again. You can also share the video if you like. Uh, once you subscribe, hit that bell notification. Let's know next time we post a video, and I will see you next time on Chat Sports Talk.